I've got a selection of plasterboard or drywall fixings here. Some of these work better than others. Some of these are very good, other ones are absolutely useless. So I'm going to demonstrate each of these and show you exactly how they should be used. We're going to start off with this one, which is the Plas Plugs standard plasterboard hollow wall fixing. So to start off with, I'm going to drill a 7mm hole. I'm going to push that in the hole until it is flush. And then I'm going to take a number 8 wood screw and I'm going to drive that into the centre of the fixing. So that screw is now tight and if you were putting up a picture frame or something like that, that fixing would be ideal. You have a very light weight fixing that you could use in plasterboard. I'm now going to try the Plas Plugs Heavy Duty plasterboard fixings. I must say that I've tried these about 10 times and every time I have tried them they have never worked. I'm now going to drill a 10mm hole. So I'm going to push that through the hole and again I'm going to take a number 8 wood screw and I'm going to screw that directly into the centre of the fixing. And you can see what happened there, it just completely broke in pieces. So you can see that that fixing was pretty much useless. I'm now using a new fixing. This time I'm going to use a slightly different screw. It is still the same size, it is still a size 8. As you can see that has broken off again, so that is more than useless. We're now going to try the universal plug. These actually work quite well and these are very useful for light weight fixings. To use the universal plug you simply need to drill the hole of the correct diameter. Push in the universal plug. Insert the screw and then tighten that up. As you can see that has scrunched up, so that has tightened against the plasterboard and that has given us a very strong fixing actually. That would be very good for holding lightweight items. This is a ready driver which is a zinc worm screw. These are also actually made in nylon. These are made by several different companies under several different names. These do actually come supplied with a self tapping screw but it is often too long and it will actually bottom out if you try and screw it all the way in there. If you do that there's a good chance that you'll over tighten the worm screw and damage the plasterboard. So for example if you was fixing that to a plasterboard wall and you used that length of screw, you would be asking for trouble because it would just bottom out. There is no way you would ever get it tight. You would just damage the plasterboard. So if you ever need to fix something thin like that to a plasterboard wall using a ready driver, it's critical that you buy a shorter self-tapping screw. These are very simple to use and you don't need a drill. You can simply screw them straight into the wall. It's important that when you're using this you actually apply some pressure to it when you're pushing it in and that will actually create its own hole. Once it's in and it's flush with the surface, you can then take the item that you want to fix. In this case, we're fixing this 90 degree bracket. Just simply put that on there, tighten up the self tapping screw.
So that has now given us a nice firm fixing. So for lightweight fixings, these really are ideal. They're very quick and very easy to use. To use the rosette fixing, you simply need to make the correct size hole, which in this case is 10 millimeter. And then push the fixing into the plasterboard. And you do actually need a Torx driver for these, and that is a TX25. So we'll now tighten that up. You can see that that has actually given us a very strong fixing. And then finally, we're going to use the snap toggle. The snap toggles are one of the best fixings for plasterboard. We're going to start off by drilling a 12 millimeter or half an inch hole. We can then take the snap toggle, push it through the hole, and then pull it back and then slide down the plastic part then simply snap off the plastic pieces and then you can take your screw that's supplied with the kit and you can screw that in once that is tight that will give you an extremely strong fixing We then have hollow wall anchors. These can be useful. In some instances you can use these without the setting tool, but on plasterboard that has not been skimmed, you will need the setting tool, which costs approximately between 10 and 20 pounds. I'm gonna start off by drilling the correct sized hole in the plasterboard. Once we've done that, we can push the anchor through the hole. So now I'm just gonna hook this over the screw, like so. Once it's in that position, you can then squeeze on the handles and that will pull back the screw. We can then remove the setting tool. Once that is in position, it does give you a permanent fixing that can hold approximately 10 kilos. So they can be very useful. They are normally very inexpensive as well. Another common fixing for plasterboard is the spring toggle. You can see that I've made an hole already, so I'm just going to push the spring toggle through the hole. Sometimes you do actually have to pull this back in order to get the spring toggle to stop rotating. They do give you a very good fixing. But they do have the disadvantage that if you undo them, you actually lose the fixing down the cavity. So string toggles are another very useful fixing and they can hold considerable weight. This is a grip it fixing. These are relatively new. You do need to drill quite a large hole for these to work. So I'm gonna start off by drilling an 18 millimeter hole. We can then take the grip it and we can push that in there and then we just need to give that a tap with the hammer. We can then use a screwdriver to push in the sensor there. We're just gonna push that in and we're just gonna turn the slot until it goes as far as it will go. We're then gonna take our bracket and the screw supply and we're going to screw that into the centre of the grip bit. And that has actually given us a very strong fixing. So these are ideal if you're fixing larger items to a plasterboard wall.